sorry you guys so my phone got got cut off for a second and um so yeah the, that that the school cop the LAPD cop you know that that dude had mad love for us man he, he knew he was one of man that that dude was a fucking trooper dude you, you know I, I've met a lot of horrible police officers dude in my life I've met a lot of horrible LAPD I got mad horrible stories with LAPD dude and hey you know, I, Man, I've been getting harassed by them motherfuckers ever since I was a little fucking kid, dude. Alright? Most of them motherfuckers are pricks. I'm gonna say it. Fuck the police based on those bad apples, dude. Alright? And the large majority, at least back then, dude, they were ruthless, man. They they, they were vicious, ruthless, and, and they were just another fucking gang to watch out for. Alright? I grew up, like, in the heart of the neighborhood, dude. And nobody... There was only a handful of times... I've had problems in my life over gang members, but my whole life I've been, I've had problems with cops, dude, and not for shit I was doing, just on some profiling shit, all right? But I've also met a few really great cops. I'm talking about the, those real police officers out to do good, and, and they still have a job to do. Like, I understand where cops are coming. I, I get it, man, but... This cop inside school, LA, man, this dude was one unique person, dude. The, this dude just knew we were, we were young and we were, we were just, he knew me too, man. And he knew where I lived, you know, and the circumstances we lived by at, at, during those times. So he knew, man, like this kid's just a product of where he has to go home to and shit. And these problems he's facing in school are nothing for these kids, dude, like, He's just wilding now because cause of where, where, he, where he lives, you know? Like, they, these are nothing, man. So he understood circumstances and he looked past what's actually happening. If you were you were a bad kid, you were one of those bad, bad dudes, he, he didn't show you, he had no love for you, you know? You were just a bad person. But but he knew when, when someone was just good people and shit either came to them or they were still trying to figure out the world and their place in the world. You know, so this dude had mad love for me, dude. And so this dude pulls up in the cruiser, and he has a picture of me in his hand already, dude. That, like these motherfuckers are trying to trying to kick me out of Hollywood High School for a while, dude. So he has the picture of me in his hand, and he and he said something to me. I don't know what he said at that moment, but later on I find out. So what he said to me is, "Come see me to come see me Monday, because it's Friday." He goes, "Come see me Monday." All right, and he just cruised by as if he didn't fucking see me. Showed me mad love, could have arrested me on the spot, right? And he knew I was good for it. Like uh, I was never one of like, if I said I'm coming, I'm coming, dude. Like if I got into problems, I faced my problems. Uh, I never ran away from from none of the mistakes I made. I learned that at a, at a young age, man. You you face you face your fears and you face consequences. You know, if you're embarrassed to do something, you don't do it. If you did it, you, you fess up to it like a man and shit. And you own up to it and you, you deal with the console. You take it on the chin. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, he showed me that love and, and cruised off. And But one thing I did hear him say was, be careful. You know, the, they, the L, actual LAPD is also looking for you. I heard him say that as he drove off. He, he showed me that love too. The LAPD is fucking looking out for me. Now, on every fucking block, there's a fucking LAPD officer, dude, looking for a kid ditching school 15 minutes. I don't know what the fuck they told the cops. I don't know what happened, but on every fucking block, there's a LAPD, uh, 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 what the fuck is the name of their cars? Uh, one of their cruisers, man. Um, Interceptor. There's an Interceptor on every single fucking block. And school security and shit. So I'm, I'm going through buildings. I'm going from building to building trying to dodge these. Because they're like it's getting too hot too fast. So finally I go meet up with my friend where, he, where he's supposed to pick me up. Picks me up. Like what the fuck? And I tell him, you know, we're out dude. Hurry up and we're out. Boom, we're gone. So fast forward. Come Monday. I show up to school. First period, nothing happens. Second period is PE, where we gotta take roll call at the school auditorium, the gym, the basketball gym, where, you know, big ass 
classes and whatnot, everyone sits down for roll call quietly. No one's supposed to talk during that time. But I'm wearing my P clothes over my regular clothes just in case some, something happens, you know? And as we're sitting down quietly taking roll call, my, my homegirl that was supposed to look out when I jumped the gate, she burst through the door, you know, loud, gym, everything echoes, right? Boom, hey, you know, the, the security's coming for you. As soon as she finishes saying it, the security guard mashes her on the door, dude, just bah, shoulders her, like checks her, dude, like straight straight hockey status, put some weight into her, boom, she's, she's smashed against the door. Come here, and this fool's trying to come after me now. My teachers are looking at me, all the students are looking at me, like, what the fuck you do this time? I get up, I book it on the other side of the, of the auditorium, hit the back door, now I'm at the football field, I run through the football field, and boom, one of the teachers, one of the football football coaches and stuff, knows me by first name basis too, has love for me as well, you know, like, because if, if, I, if, if I was your student, you would have loved me, dude, yeah, I, I have some funny stories, but I always showed love, man, so... You would have loved me. You either loved me or hated me during high school. So, you know, what the fuck you doing on, on the grid? You know, like, what the fuck you doing on my in my class? I was like, look, man, I'm running away from security, dude. It's like, what the fuck, man? I thought you, I thought you were getting your shit together. <clears throat> I was like, man, I, I've been on top of my shit, you know? This, this is just this is just a fucking slip up, man. I'm, I, you know? And I tell him the truth, like, because I, I was getting my shit together. I really was. I just happened to fuck up, so I was like, man, you know, I, I fucked up, but I mean, I need to get away right now. I'll deal with this later. <clears throat> what do you What do you want me to do? You, you know, and I would have listened to whatever he said. If he said fucking come with me, I was going with him, dude. But he's like, you know what, man? Run to the other end of the field, in the in the back of that thing. You're you're gonna see you're gonna see a trash can. All right, you climb up on that trash can, get on that big wall, and hop that hop that big ass wall to the other side. He's like, you can do it, right? I was like, dude, I got it. Don't even trip, you, you, you know. So boom, I, I run there. It's there, just like you said. I hop on the trash, hop on the wall, jump the wall. I'm out. I'm out. I run, hit the metro, take my ass home. Fucking go home, and there's no one home but me, the phone, and the answering machine with a message on it. Boop, I hit the fucking answering machine. Yeah, you are not allowed to return back to school without your parents. Fuck, you know, like, I'm not about to tell my parents. Dude, fuck it, I'm gonna go by myself as I always do and, and take responsibility and bite the bullet. Fuck it, right? That's what I do. Um, that's what I do the next day. Now, this is... Yeah, and that's what I do. And... Wait, am I mixing the days up? I think I'm mixing the days up. Because there's something happens. So, I'm sorry. So, the original day I ditched was Thursday. Friday is when this happens. Alright? Where I ditch home and this answering thing is Friday. All right, this is like a 10, 15 year old story, you guys. So don't mind the, the mixes up, mix ups and the little details and stuff. But so the answering machine thing is on a Friday. Come Monday, I have to go to school with my fucking parent, dude. So I have to go to school with my parent and, and, and face the music and shit. So I don't tell my parent, I delete the message as every 17 year old would do, right? <laughs> so I delete the message Pretend no one ever called home I don't know what you guys are talking about I've been at school all week I'm a great student And I actually was a good student uh, I, was a, I was an honor student uh, Not an honor student I was a gifted student yeah, Like my ninth grade, 10th grade I had amazing fucking grades Off the charts 10th grade, 11th grade I had straight fails Alright Life happens Shit happens It is what it is So Monday, I go to school by myself, show up to the music, and I'm like, okay, I turn, go go to my dean's office, oh, it's you, you're here, where's, you know, where's your parent? I was like, come on, come on, dean, you know, you know I don't got no parents, I have parents, by the way, um, you 
you know I don't got no parents, man. Yeah, you know I, you know I take responsibility for my own shit. You know we're not about to bother my parents with this shit. Um, it's like, man, I, I have no idea what the fuck to do with you, dude. Yeah, I, I don't even know what to tell you, man. You're too bright. You're, you know, you already know. There's nothing nice shit I could tell you, dude. Like you already know. And I, I just don't know how to how to get through to you. You know, I'm like, dude, man, I, I don't know, man. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. You know, I'm gonna have some slip ups. You know, I'm trying to. I'm trying to do right in the world, dude. Like, it's like, dude, over fucking 15 minutes. I was like, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> um, it's like, all right, dude. So in comes uh, the LAPD officer. All right, the LAPD officer comes in. What's up, man? Like, I, I, I told you to come see me first. I was gonna clean this up for you. You know, and, and you're gonna you're gonna pretend you didn't you didn't even fucking see me. Like like I, I didn't tell you to come see you. I was like, listen, man, you you, you know me better than that. You know, I got, I got I got mad respect for you, and I genuinely didn't hear what you said because you, you you were talking to me while your car was still moving. You know, I was like, if I had told you, I would have came. Uh, you know me, man. I would have came, and regardless of the consequences, I would have came and fucking you know faced the music. I'm here now, right? He's like, yeah, I, I already know, man. I'm just giving you a hard time. So you know what, man? Uh, I put in a good word in for you. I told him that you're a good kid, and it, you know you're just you're just the product of shit happening around you right now. I was like, all right, man. Uh, you know I, I appreciate the love, the love you've shown me. All right, I'm out, and he leaves. In comes the football coach that was chasing me. He goes, you know what, man? He goes, he goes. You're the only person that's ever ran away from me and got away from me. He goes, and for that reason and that reason alone, I'm gonna, uh, I put in a good word in for you to not get expelled from the school. But I want you to take something in consideration in return. He goes, I, I want you to consider joining the football team. Um, he goes, he goes, you run like a motherfucker, dude. And I can, I, we need someone that could run that fast on that field. I, and I'm like, dude, I was like, I appreciate what you're doing for me, you know? Um, but football is like an after school program, man. You, you know, like, my life's fucking a mess, dude. I, I don't know if I can do all that, dude, for you, you know? I was like, but, but, all, uh, at least let me fucking sleep on it, man. I'm not gonna lie to you and tell you, yeah, yeah, I appreciate what you're doing, but I'm not gonna lie to you either, you know? I was like, let, let me let me sleep on it. Let me figure things out, see how things go, dude, and, and let's go from there. It's like, all right, then just consider it. I was like, cool. He leaves and track and field, one of the track and field teachers comes in. Oh shit, you're our runner. I heard about you. He goes, damn, I heard you're, you're fucking quick and we need someone that fast on track and field and I, I want you to consider joining track and field you know it's good for your uh for college i'm like dude i have straight fails all right ain't no one give a fuck how fast i run dude it's like yeah blah blah we'll, we'll fix all that i was like man i don't even know if i'm gonna be a student at the school anymore you know like just let me let me deal with what my fuck up right now and take one thing at a time for the moment. All right, whatever. And he leaves, and in comes uh, the vice principal. Oh, you're a runner. Cool, man. He goes, um, he goes. You look like you got cold sweat going, man. He goes, don't even worry about it, man. You're not getting, you're not getting expelled. All your, all your teachers and, and all these people have come forward telling me what a great kid you are, and how smart you are, and how capable. And that you're also a fucking wild ass little kid causing all kinds of ruckus and shit. And we know, because we know you're, you're a gifted student. And um, we're gonna try and we're gonna try and do something, man. He goes, he goes, let's see. But don't worry, right now you're not you're not gonna get expelled, you know. So now my dean comes and he, he's talking to me. Why why the fuck is your parent not here, man? How come I never get to see your parent? All this trouble you get. You have, you have a... And he's telling me and he's showing me. He goes, you have a three-page suspension record, 
right? Each suspension is one page on the uh, one line on the paper. Because you have three pages of suspensions and you're still a student at the school. How the fuck is this possible? And he's reading it to me. He goes, suspended for calling the teacher a fucking prick. And it says it just in those words. Call them a fucking prick. He goes, he goes really, dude? That's how you... I'm like, man, it's not even like that, dude. Like, come on, man. <laughs> it's really not even like that. And so he's like, you know what, man? I'm going to suspend your ass for three days, dude. I'm disappointed. Turn your hiding the lights on, dude. So, there you go, boy. So, he's like, I'm going to suspend you for three days. And, yeah. He goes, that's it. I'm like, dude, what? You're going to... I did school for 15 minutes. And you're going to give me three days of vacation, dude? I was like, really? You're, you're going you're gonna to give a ditching kid more times at home? Because he decided to go home? I was like, come on, dude, this whole system is fucked up, dude. Like, that, that's funny. He's like, what? He's like, you want to get suspended a fourth day? I was like, look, look do me do me this solid, man. All right? I was like, since you're going to send me home for three days, all right? You're going to send me on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I'm going to come back to school Friday. I was like, at least, yeah, fuck it. Suspend me for four days, all right? At least I'll get the weekend in too, man. We'll call it a fucking holiday, dude. He's like, oh, no, man, he goes, you're not taking any of this serious. I'm like, I am taking it serious, but this is, you know, I'm going to call bullshit where I see bullshit, dude. Like, that, that's not, uh, this isn't going to fucking fix my, my, any kids ditching shit, you know? It's like, you're not, you shouldn't be suspending me for it, right? Just from a logical, I was, I was a logical kid at that point, too. But he's laughing, but he's pissed at the same time. It's like, you know what, man? I'm gonna suspend you for three days, but you also got two weeks of fucking detention, man. You know, it's like, all right, man. But see, now, I was like, that's fucked up, but I'm with you on it. I probably deserve more than two weeks of fucking detention. So I appreciate the love anyway. Because, all right, fucking crazy. Time to take your ass back home now. <laughs> you know, sent me back home to no parent, no nothing. And, uh, yeah, that's my ditching Hollywood high school story. And... Yeah, so now I'm gonna tell you guys another story about uh, about shadow people. Sorry about my distracted ass with my ADHD. And um, so I'm hanging out. The, this happened not, not that long ago too. So I'm hanging out with I'm hanging out with a friend of mine. Uh, middle it's like middle of the night. It's me and my female friend, and we're, we're just hanging out, chilling. She's like, whatever, man. Like, we're just in the car, just talking, chopping it up. And, uh, you know, it's one of these uh, residential streets and stuff. Where, like, like literally around right where we live and whatnot. And it's like, you know what? Let's hop in the back seat. I, I have a movie on my phone I want me and you to watch. And I was like, cool. Or whatever the fuck she said to me, right? I was like, okay, cool, man. Like, um, let's, you know? And... We're just chilling in the back seat, just watching our movie type of thing. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like we're just on the phone, watching this. She's she's soft, I'm hard, so it works good together. We're holding each other nice and, and the fucking warm. But on my side fucking window, like at my window, is this fucking shadow person, dude? He's fucking staring at us, dude. Staring at me and staring at her. And she knows I see these motherfuckers. You know, I've told her about it. So she's like, what the fuck? I was like, dude, um, I'm not comfortable here. Yeah, you know, it's like, what the fuck? You know, like, I was like, listen, man, uh, I'm not comfy here. I was like, man, whatever. Let's just watch our movie. Five minutes, this motherfucker standing watching, dude. He's just standing and fucking watching. And I'm getting so uncomfortable. Like, not only are you fucking staring at me, but it's like I'm getting that that vibe, that evilness and shit, you know? I was like, dude, I, I can't do this, dude. Oh, we, we gotta get the fuck out of this spot. This spot's a burn and, and we're out. And, um,. Completely fucked my night up, fucking cock blocked me, dude. 
who gets cock blocked by a fucking shadow person? That, that's that's some shit to fucking shoot yourself over. Yeah, you know, it's like life's over, dude. You might as well fucking slice down the road and not across across the street at that point. Because if you got shadow people cock blocking you, then what the fuck, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's evil dude. Um Yeah, and that's that's my next shadow person story. So I hope you guys uh and, and most of my stories are not exaggerated man like I, I put I put some entertainment to it but no my, my stories are not exaggerated they're actually under exaggerated and my all my stories have a lot more to them that I don't I don't really talk about but um yeah, man, so that, that's my shadow person's people story. Uh, two more of them. And you guys got a fucking ditching story from high school times. And um, there you go. I hope if you guys are seeing shadow people, keep the light on. You guys stay blessed. Um, yeah, just be good people in the world. And the world is a good place, one person at a time. You guys have a great night.